with friends. This is Crashing with Friends podcast. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Episode 142. It's a long time. A lot of episodes, man. It is, man. Or he keeps saying that at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> man, a lot of episodes. This, this is a so lot of episodes. Holy shit. <laughs> We're grinding. What as the, <laughs> Like the sands from the hourglass. Fuck, evil villain is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's Days of Our Lives. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was his Magneto voice or something. <laughs> I thought he was trying to be the... You'll never see me. <laughs> <laughs> the fake Mandarin. Yeah, fake Mandarin. Yeah. There's no fakeness right now from me. All real. I'm all real. Yeah. <laughs> Bad <Yeah>. real. <laughs> 100% real beef cake. <laughs> yeah. 100% homegrown. How are you guys doing? Meh. Mm. Doing pretty good. Uh,. Brian, Can't how complain. are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Connor, how are you doing? You're like, you're like, no. are you like, no. how are you doing, guys? And I'm like, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, fuck you, no. <laughs> All right, and Jack said enough. We're going to go and skip to the next person. <laughs> Jackson, how's your week been, man? Ah, oh, man. Connor, dude, <laughs> seriously, we're going to buy your week. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's go with Ryan first. Ryan. Uh, well, you know, um, just working. Been pretty busy. Uh, I haven't been playing too much games lately. Went to uh, play a lot of Magic the Gathering because that's I've, I've been just hands deep, dude. Like, it's bad. Uh, Have you had to buy a lot of cards recently or is it well, like, just stuff that you've already had? Were you the guy that came to our to our work yesterday and was like, give me like the whole unpackaged box of Magic the Gathering cards, no. which ended up being like $2,500. Uh, that, they are expensive. A, so It was a shit ton the of The newest money. set that just came out, uh, a retail collector box, probably goes about close to three sixty five, and you get 12 packs. Boosters? Um, boosters, they're collector boosters, so every single, card is, every single card is either alternate art or foil. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool um, and it. you have chances to pull serialized cards in there, and some of the cards in this new set a few of the serialized cards are going anywhere from 4,000 plus. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been pulling some of the, I didn't pull any serialized cards. I pulled a lot of good cards and uh, we over at the store over here at Hurley's, we play a uh, pack wars where you get a pack and then everybody will open the pack and then they'll see who has the highest dollar card and whoever has the highest dollar card gets all the packs. So each single pack is like thirty nine ninety nine. So then you, we just either a we'll split a whole box between each other, which is like about one hundred fifty a piece, or we'll split. Uh, let's keep going for pack wars, and I just trade my shit in that I don't want, and then I just get my money, and then I just buy more packs. Damn. Yeah. So it's pack it's wars. pretty yeah. Pack wars are fun. We invented it. Yeah, we invented it. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. Um, but I went to a tournament down in Marshfield, and it went pretty well. My buddy uh, ended up getting like top four. Got into like the last game with the last four people and ended up losing to a guy that's just had yeah. stupid. No one would do anything about. You it, can't so. beat him, man. I guarantee you, he's got two hundred k underneath that deck. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping it going with the Fast and Furious. Stuff. He's got a ten second deck. Yeah, well, the guy, one of the guys that we play with on a weekly basis, his uh, hundred card deck that he plays with is about sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So, and he, but he, Fuck. but it's like, it's mainly cause it's not like I could build the same deck and it'd be not even a quarter of the price, but it's just cause the versions of the cards he got were like masterpiece or like ones okay. you can't get anymore. So they're more expensive. Okay. So that's, that's why he, want, he wanted to make the, get the special cards, make it look good. And that's what and some people fancy. like, some people, yeah, some people would be like that. So yeah. like, I just know some one time I think it was over there when we were at Marshfield and he like played, I don't know five cards and the guy's like holy shit that's a lot of value because like right there was like eight grand just in five cards because those cards were like i was like holy shit <laughs> i was like that's just you just play those in like one Damn. turn and like you just sit there but um other than that works going pretty good um still what well, i'm waiting on a few games to come out i was waiting on first ascendant to see how well it did because i got in that alpha i don't know if it's gonna be good or not 
just okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the alpha was kind of okay. It's free to play though, right? I think it is free to play. Yeah, hmm. I mean, it's kind of it's it's another Destiny esque game, but it's four player instead of three on your uh, in your squad. So. Well, even more friends that I don't have in my squad. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, but I, I mean, I've read, that's why I always like dogged on Destiny. Is like when we played it, it was like three people, and then everybody was already doing their quests and stuff like that. And then it sucks having to go back and do it again. So yeah. And then a uh, couple, like about a month ago, I became the vice president of our Baco chapter. Nice. Yeah. So that's a lot of responsibility that I've been dealing with. Guys, what do you think Baca stands for? Baca? Um, I think it's actually Bocce Ball is what he's trying to yeah. say. Oh. Vice president of the Bocce Ball. Yeah, yeah Bocce Ball gang, dude. Uh, brains and uh. children advancing? <laughs> no, bikers against child abuse. Oh. So... Always big, important. Big yes. ass candy ass. Yeah, big ass candy <laughs> ass. <dude. laughs> big ass candy ass. That's good. That's good. You want us to start calling anybody that? <laughs> if you see the big ass, that's the sign, you know. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. a baka right there. <laughs> there <it is. laughs> well, also, like in Japanese, baka means stupid, but it's mm. B A K A, not B A C A. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. What's Connor in Japanese? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> but. Big ass candy. Please don't tell me that I'm just Jackie son. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, no, you're Jackie Chan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's he's Chinese, but we'll we'll say it's we'll say, yeah. Yeah, I mean other than that, it's been pretty good. Dope. Else? Cool. Connor? Yeah, um, for me, you know, it's been okay. Um, dealing uh, with, you know, stuff. Dealing with stuff? <laughs> yeah. The FBI. Um, <laughs> no, 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 nothing serious. It's like, uh, you know. Mixing uh, the right chemicals to get, to, to make TNT. <laughs> that we will sit underneath, underneath all the banks of the, I don't know. Yeah, you got it. Fight you club it. <laughs> we need a lot of soap. You going uh, through a fight club mess right now, Connor? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, you Tyler, got a Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden, exactly. Yeah, uh, no, just uh, regular human <laughs> stuff. Um, definitely not an alien. You know, if you guys were worried about that, you know, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's been good. Been playing video games, just dipping my toes back into some old stuff that, you know, it's whatever. But uh, yeah. did you beat Uncharted? No, um, I need to start playing some more of it. I haven't played it in like a few days, but yeah, I've been playing some other games. Some Ratchet and Clank. I beat the PS4 Ratchet and Clank. I started Rift Apart, um, even though I've already beat it. But yeah, just some Final Fantasy X, some Kingdom Hearts three, just kind of bouncing around. Uh, last night I played Elden Ring for like an hour and a half. <laughs> he, did the, awesome. he did the Xerxes face, man. I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was pretty <laughs> tight. Uh, started, <laughs> started started a new uh, character, a knight. Uh, I made an Asian dude. Um, Asian Mayan. Asian, Asian Mayan. Mayan, yeah. yeah. Take me by the hand. You're like, Ocean Man. <laughs> Get me held in rain. Um, yeah, I had this like magic guy, but I'm like, I'll start a new guy just to kind of mess with the sword and shield, you know, because I didn't do that in my first playthrough. I'm like, I'll just go through the beginning. And like, I kept using, you know, the health potions by mistake, doing that classic thing. I'm like, well, where do I get the horse again? And eventually I found it after like an hour and a half. I'm like, oh, I got to go here. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's, you know, it's playing Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm going to beat it again, but I was thinking like, if I can get to where, you would need to like be to get the DL DLC. Mm. Then I'll probably get the DLC at that point because it looks really good. But it's like if I, if I don't carry myself through this playthrough, I'm not going to get it, you know. Um, so I'm just going to see. I'm going to judge how it is. It's a lot to put on the yourself. DLC is exactly. Really That's good. why I'm not going to buy the DLC yet. The DLC is really good. It's beautiful. Yeah. It really good. And it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely huge. So it's huge. It's huge. Yeah, I'm not the, done anything on it yet. But it's awesome. Yeah, I hear the vistas are amazing, but the bosses I hear are brutal. Uh, bosses are insane. 
But yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely keep playing it because, like, I don't know. I've been wanting to replay Dark Souls three, and that's like yeah. more of a night kind of night based game. You know, um, mm. you know, there is some magic stuff in that. But uh, yeah, just uh, I've been watching a lot of One Piece. It's good. Yeah, I'm almost through the dub stuff um, at the end of the Wano arc, at least the last quarter of it. Um, I just watched the Zoro fight where he fights King, and at the end of that, it's really good. So that he used uh, what was it, Demon Dragon or something, yeah. something like that, some sort of crazy move. <clears throat> you guys had to see it; it was wild. But yeah, it was a pretty cool move. Um. <laughs> yeah, One Piece is great. It's yeah. just a, like trying to get somebody new into watching One Piece is just a slog because it was a thou- you the, it was just daunting because there's a thousand plus episodes. Yeah, I can see that. And like, there's there's a few ways that you could do it because like you do you really don't have to watch all the episodes. Mm. No. Um, like what you could do is just watch the Reverie, which is right before Wano, and it's like ten episodes that explains the whole series. But you will lose a lot of context for a lot of really cool stuff. So mm-hmm. um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody out there that's looking to watch <clears throat> One Piece. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, eventually you'll get through it. I mean, life life is longer than you think. I mean, it took me three months um, to get through it, just to watching every single episode up to 1,000. took me three months. Damn, that's crazy. And I was watching like every day, like four to five episodes a day or more. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, I watch I watch quite a bit, but like I took a long break there for a while. No, I, was, I, was like, I just slammed right through it. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> like I watched like six six fifty to seven hundred episodes, and then I took a break, and now this playthrough I'm at like one thousand and like sixty something right mm. now. It was like one thousand so, one hundred and twenty episodes, something like that. that. Yeah. So I'm like I'm almost through the the dub stuff, but yeah, really liking it. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's it's anime, but uh, House of the Dragon continues to impress. I have not seen the three episodes or four episodes that are out. I need to watch it. The second season. Yeah, I heard. I've been, I, people are just spoiling things at work. And I'm like, oh my god, I heard yeah. this is really good. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, but um, it's definitely gonna <clears throat> it's gonna heat up. You can you can tell a lot of things are happening where it's like, okay, these. These characters that were, were they were not caring about like what was going on. It's like okay, this dude's pissed now, um, so there's gonna be war. Hell yeah. It's gonna be war. Uh, yeah, um, that presidential debate was really something. I was just like <laughs> laughing my ass off at most of it. I couldn't believe what was happening. Just the whole old <clears throat> man, and then like like almost like was he just forgetting what he was saying? Or was he about to fall asleep? No. Or what was? <laughs> oh my like, God, Sleepy Joe! There he is. He's closing his eyes. He's falling yeah. asleep again. <laughs> he doesn't know where he's at. Yeah, just, just look like, at him. <laughs> the camera angle also killed me because it's like it looked every time he looked straight back out towards his podium, it looked like he was looking off in the distance, like he didn't know what he was fucking doing. <laughs> I was like, what is he looking at? Yeah, you know? there, there's several times like he looks really weak in this camera shot. He's just like slouched over and just like looking at, like look, like he's looking away from everything, you know, like not facing. <laughs> Yeah. And then when he when he was like he looked like he was getting angry, I was laughing because I was like, man, he's angry. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Joe okay. Biden does look like if he had to bend over to pick up like a yo yo or something. Like it, if too much blood rushed to his head, he would just fall over and die. <laughs> <laughs> he looks that old. Yeah, he's pretty old, man. Like <laughs> he's, he's he's ancient. He's too old. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's crazy. We need we need younger people. We need more people uh, in these debates. We need like more ideas than just arguing over stuff that happened four years ago. What you is know? the uh, I mean, age the like that you can become president? I think it's like 30, 35, 30, 35. Yeah. 30, yeah. 34, 35. Yeah. And you also have to be a citizen that was born in America or have dual citizenship or whatever, you know? Yeah. And if we could get like, I don't know. We've never had that young of a president, like a 35 year old president. Like, you got close. I mean, you got close. Yeah, you got forty something, but like still, yeah, like that, that young. One that we had JFK I mean, that's, shot his head off. So yeah, he's too young. You also can't be convicted of treason. Which why would you be elected president? But why would you even try to yeah. go into anything government if you're convicted of treason? I yeah. mean, I don't know. How you get away with it, but you couldn't do it. I know that. <laughs> it's really hard to become president once you've been convicted of treason. Mm-hmm. No one's done it. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of like that rookie of the year curse, man. No one's ever repeated it. (laughs) 
Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything going on. Um, I haven't played any disc golf lately. Just been um, continuing to like run a mile every other day. I usually, we'll get about two to three miles in a week, depending on what I'm doing. So, even though it's been hot as hell, dude, this this has been so hot. Like, I'll go run for eight minutes, come back, I'll have sweat like pouring down my face and in my eyes. I can't see, dude. I'm like, uh, <laughs> it, it's bad, dude. It burns, yeah, it sucks. It, yeah, it, it it does suck. But yeah, soaking up that solar radiation, becoming stronger. <laughs> Superman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You running in those? You running in those dark <laughs> shorts, dude? <laughs> yeah, man. I had, like I told these guys earlier, I had to change my outfit just because I was wearing the same outfit three weeks in a row. So this is why I'm wearing this, just so you guys know. Otherwise, I would be wearing that Superman outfit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should go back further and see how many times you wore it this oh, season and put a chart oh, on yeah. there. I've probably worn it like, I don't know, 10, 15 times this summer, you know, or this spring and summer. You Make know? somebody guess the number, and if they're right, whoever's closest gets like a candy bar or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just like the red shorts go with the Superman shirt really well, you know. I'm gonna have to go back through all the episodes <laughs> when I'm editing this and put a little. Oh, okay. You're saying like episodes? It's Probably. Just gonna, it's just gonna show I don't now. Because <laughs> usually it's a Friday outfit for me, you know. Um, so just hang in there. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> We don't always record on Fridays. We are this week, but I mean, probably maybe five, I would say, about five videos. <laughs> okay. And I've already seen two. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's probably at least three more out there. There was almost a third today. So, yeah. Uh, there, there are more out there. <laughs> you can't be stopped. Yeah. He's, he's wearing it again. Stop him. Uh, but this is actually one of my golf outfits that I got. Um, I've got like six of these polo shirts that are Cloud 94 fabric, dude. Fuck, Cloud 94? <laughs> yeah, Cloud 94. It's way better than Cloud 92. Oh, <laughs> dude. Next level. Uh, yeah, but also these are the Adidas shorts I got. And there's like, there's a little spandex. They feel like uh, uh, sw swim trunks, you know? Yeah. I have a pair like that, but they're gray. But they're not swim trunks. Yeah, I know. And they feel and they have like the inside pockets are like also they're, they're like good. meshy. Yeah, yeah, they're not meshy. No, they're mine good. are meshy like, they're like good swim pocket. trunk ones, yeah. But yeah. And there's no underwear in there. <laughs> there's no mesh underwear. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. That's a big, yeah, one. big mesh underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Silky underwear in there. Big, big ball underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for holding the sack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's it's been going good. Probably gonna go uh, look for some more clothes this weekend. Nice. Yeah, I'm all about buying clothes and then not wearing half of them. But you know, you gotta buy a lot of clothes to figure out what you want. You know. Yeah, I got more like Superman a closet shirts. that's like half full of like a bunch of stuff that I don't wear at all. Mm -hmm. And I really need to get rid of it, but half of them are like band shirts, and some of them are just like too small for me. But I'm like, I can't get rid of them. I regret getting rid of the ones that I had in high school. And I know they wouldn't fit me now, but I would still want them. And what if you have a kid someday? You exactly. I was like, man, what if I have a kid? Yeah. If I do have a kid, hey. he's going to have some kick-ass, like, old-school metal shirts. Could or, you make a quilt out of that? I at, could. Or maybe pillows. not necessarily... Or some, not some necessarily kind of just... Not just it, but, like, like the blanket and then the T-shirts as well. Not just a, a t-shirt blanket is what I'm saying. Because that would be a very uncomfortable blanket. I think I know what you're talking about. So like a blanket that is also a quilt along with your shirts. <laughs> Two in one. Not just a shirt blanket. So a quilt on one side and a plushy blanket on the other. I think I was just a shirt blanket. You know? Not just a shirt blanket. I think I was following you at the beginning, okay. but then you confused the fucking <laughs> But yeah, he said pillows too. That'd be cool. You yeah, have little throw pillows. Yeah, little man t-shirt throw pillows. Man, that's some awful t-shirt fabric. Yeah. Just throw pillows, man. Throw pillows are yeah, awful anyway. Yeah, dude. They like, they're just there for de decoration. That's what yeah. I was thinking like some sort of tapestry, you know? Tapestry would be cool. Yeah, you love a good wall flag. I did put yeah. one of my shirts. Uh, I had a pop, a pop evil shirt, and it was like the original, uh, like pop bottle cap shirt, and I got it signed, and I got it in a shadow box. So if you go see those bands, get it signed and just put it in a shadow box. Hmm. Take it with you. This is your original shirt. <laughs> it's all tore up and shit. But yeah, getting it signed is cool. Hell yeah, that so, is cool. right? Can you get those shirts graded? 
<laughs> I don't know. That'd be cool. Like, oh, oh man, this is like a nine point five. <laughs> That's a nine point five. I almost guarantee you, you can probably find someone really great that'd be like, yeah, man, this is like maybe a maybe one wear. I don't think it's maybe maybe never worn. <laughs> it's been half I, washed. I've seen so many YouTube <laughs> videos of people like bringing in shoes, like like. Like, yo, check out these Nikes. I'm trying to sell them. And this guy will, like, have, like, 12 pairs of shoes. He's like, yeah, these ones are fake as fuck. Like, <laughs> and be like, man, you got one real pair out of this whole 12 pair you got. That's a so. real thing, man. Bootleg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Only buy from Nike. <laughs> <laughs> if you know it's good for you, Jackson. But here's uh, the thing. I would totally buy a bootleg just to be like, I don't have the money for the real thing. Then I'll they fall it. apart, bro. Yeah. Look yeah. at Zion. He was wearing bootleg Nikes, blew him out. Mm. Did not know he was wearing bootlegs. I didn't Allegedly know. wearing bootlegs. Allegedly <laughs> wearing <laughs> bootlegs. No, I'm just making that up, dude. We're good. <laughs> uh, so, Jackson, you want to go with your week? Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, it's been pretty dope. Uh, been... Uh, messing around with that MIDI keyboard that you guys got me for my birthday. Thanks again for that. I love, I'm loving messing with it. Um, still haven't gotten like all the stuff working on it yet. Like mainly just the knobs. Like I can't get the knobs to like, like I don't know how they're matching up with the computer right now. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But other than that, I can actually like, you know, play a little bit of the piano Part of me wishes there was just one scale length a little bit bigger because I was like, oh, man, there's one song I want to play, but it's just not that, like, I have to go too far this way. And I'm mm. like, oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, that, I forget, it's the piano intro for, uh, Vela Together We Await the Storm by Human Abstract. It's like, it's like I want to play that, but like, there's one key that I can't press. Uh, there's just one key. <laughs> one key! <laughs> put that on a touchpad or yeah. something. <laughs> you put that one key, you could make it good. Yeah, I could map it to the touchpad if I really need to. <laughs> I mean, you can play it, to, essentially. You can play it. It's going to suck, but you can do it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, uh, I bought Elden Ring for... Myself for my birthday with the Erd Tree DLC. I haven't gotten to that DLC oh, yeah. yet, but uh, I think I'm like level. I think last time I looked, I was level 32. I think something like that. I don't know. New movie trailer for uh, Cow. What was it called again? I posted it earlier. It's Cowboy like a, Baby. It's like a new <coughs> horror movie with Hugh Grant as the villain. Oh, yeah. Uh, heretic. Heretic. <laughs> That's it. Mm. It looks good. It's like two like female ladies like knock on his door and it's like, hey, would you like to learn about Jesus? And he's like, of course, come on in. Mm. He's like, you know, warm and inviting at first, but then like, you know, gets eerie and weird. Mm. I think he like puts them like through like a crazy, like weird maze type thing. Because I don't know, it, like if it looks, it looks like his house is just basically like a giant death trap kind of, <laughs> but like a very elaborate one. Like a why would you do this to your house kind of thing? Yeah. <laughs> One wrong move and you will die when you wake up. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. It looks weird. You got to watch the trailer in order to like kind of understand what I'm talking about. It's an A24 movie, so. It is an A24 movie. Is it kind of like that Smart House movie? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Dude, it could have been. Dude, <laughs> if this is a Smart House too. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it get hit by lightning and then like doesn't that make it go crazy? Or how does it? How does Smart House go crazy again? Do you guys remember? God, um, I can't remember. Smart House goes crazy because uh, the kid, one of the kids, like wishes that like they had like a mom, like around or something like that. Okay. And so the house like thinks like parental in instincts is what I got to do next. Okay. Okay. So, then she just cracks the whip a little too hard, you know? All right. Yeah. Smart House definitely went too far on that. Smart House definitely went too far on that. <laughs> Katie Seagal looked fine though as a, as a holographic house woman. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, I mean, I was going to say this for my yo dude, but fuck it. I'll just go ahead and say it because I thought it was cool. Uh, I was looking on Tubi the other day because I was like, man, I wonder what they have on Tubi. And. 
I saw that they had like an old school like cartoon like movie that I watched as a kid called Rocket Doodle. I think I've talked about it before. The chicken scene? Yeah, yeah dude. Watch yeah. the shit out of Chanticleer? Yeah, Chanticleer. Like one of the cr- like coolest names for a hero ever. But, uh, yeah, I was like looking at the big opening credits of that movie, and I was like, holy shit, Gary Oldman fucking produced this shit. So that was just a cool like thing to see while I was watching that movie. I was like, oh, man, Gary Oldman has a piece of this? Nice. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, nice. But, uh, yeah, Kyle. Let's get on to you, man. How's your week going? Uh, I've had better weeks. For better. sure. Yeah, no you, doubt. you look pretty rough, dude. Yeah. Uh, messed my knee up playing hockey. Good times. Yeah. Some of the worst uh, depression I've ever felt. Uh, the day that it happened, and the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day, I was okay. Mm. But, uh, yeah, man. It's just by... Uh, it's not it's not that I messed my knee up. It's just that I know that I have like s- three to six months of not fun. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Yeah. It's the rehab part that is not fun. Yeah. Not fun. It's a lot of working. Uh, but luckily, I'm, no, there's no luckily. No, no there's, there's none of that. I was going to say, luckily I've been working out. So at least I've got some muscle but like whatever. Well, I mean, less weight means less strain on your knee when you do have to, you know, get it right. Yeah, twenty pounds less, I guess, is less weight. Yeah, and if something, I, you know. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, I'll be back and stronger. Maybe not as strong, but <laughs> you'll be back pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not playing any action sports anymore, as far as like hockey, basketball, anything like that. It'd be crazy if, like, no. just one of these times you go in for surgery and they your knee becomes like Henry Rowan Gardner's arm from Rookie of the Year. It heals back and it's just like you got one leg that's like a flash leg. It's like <laughs> <laughs> starts kicking footballs. <laughs> yeah, just like you just, just, just got like, one super fast leg. She's like abnormally strong after for whatever reason. You can yeah. jump up three floors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You would be like the dunk contest guy from now on. Yeah, man, I would be. But uh, do I check out this movie called Joyride? You guys have to watch it. I'm telling you, you have to watch it. It's freaking funny, man. It's just yeah. a f- bunch of Asians taking a trip. Asian taking gals, a, Asian gals. <laughs> taking, a, taking a trip, man. And it's freaking hilarious. I'm telling you. Joyride. It's not, your, it's not the old Joyride. It's a comedy. It's freaking great. Um, some of the funniest girl stuff I've ever seen. I'll definitely watch it. You have to, man. It's you have to, I mean, especially if you watch Ricky Stenicky. You gotta dude, watch this. Ricky Stenicky's pretty funny. I still funny. gotta watch Ricky Stenicky. Uh, Ricky Stenicky, <laughs> fucking funny, dude. Ricky Stenicky is freaking funny. Dude. It's good. It is it's funny. real good. Uh, <laughs> it's the beginning. Uh, well, I was gonna say, gold, like, dude. I forget the name of the movie, but. It's uh, that one movie that had Scarlett Johansson and somebody else, and they go like on a, uh, th- they go to like uh, Vegas or something, and they're like hanging out at a house party, and then all of a sudden, uh, like they hire like a male escort that comes over, and he ends up dying, and that's a, just it's a whole comedy on that. I Game forget who, uh, Kate McKinnon, mm, I think is her no. name, blonde girl from SNL, she's also in it. I feel like you've seen it. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-mm. Ah, you suck. Blow me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do it. You said to do it. You gotta do it. <laughs> he does, but he, yes, I'll watch Jackson it. does this at least once Kick an those episode. pants off. Yeah, dude. Well, you know, the thing I sent you earlier goes perfect now. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. Oh, shit. I'm looking for it, man. Uh, rough night. That might be it. Oh, trust me. Have not seen it. Hmm. 2017 <laughs> movie. It's got ScarJo. Of course and, it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got another... Yeah, Kate McKinnon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a reason why I haven't seen it. I don't... I'm it's not a chick a Kate, flick. I, no, I'm not a Kate McKinnon fan. Jillian Bell. Yeah, but back to what I was saying. Watch Joyride. <laughs> Joyride. Joyride. All of a sudden, you're just like, this movie. <laughs> How no, dare you? My movie. Yeah. My movie. Joyride. 
All right, got it. Fuck Joyride. I'm not going to watch it now. <laughs> do, do you, bro. Do you. You're missing out on a great no, one. No, I'll watch it. I do want to watch it. Because there's this one movie with ScarJo that I watched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I get it. I get it. Uh, it was also a girl comedy movie. That's what I was... Those. That was the tie, Kyle. That was the tie. Mm-hmm. He bound them, <laughs> bound them together. Girl movie, girl movie. There's some, <laughs> Double yeah. feature. I get you. Joyride, rough night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Double yeah, feature. Yeah. See, here's the irony of the whole thing of me hurting my knee, though. Is like I saw my surgeon at my gym like three weeks ago, and... I was like, dude, are you my surgeon, bro? What's your name, man? And he's like, yada, yada. I'm like, do you do knee surgeries? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, you did my knee surgery, bro. You did a good job. Shook his hand. And then, like, three weeks later, I pop it. Like, or <laughs> at least heard it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. It was very, very bad. Yeah. Bro. Bro. You know what we should do? We what? should come up with a new DJ name for Jackson. Why? Because if you're using this MIDI keyboard, you gotta have a new DJ name. Uh, like DJ Jack Quick or DJ Jack Shadow. DJ Jack Herman. <laughs> DJ <laughs> DJ Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick. I think we we'll just keep adding on to that one and just make it the longest DJ to remain. <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. <laughs> uh, DJ Jack Flash. DJ Jack Knife. Why, why, why does DJ got to be a part of it? Yeah, because you're a DJ, dude. Yeah, if you're a DJ, you got to have DJ in it. Yeah, you got to have a DJ in DJ name. Yeah, just be like. Skrillex. <laughs> you can't just be like yeah, the guy from let's go Skrillex too. Let's go see DJ Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever see DJ Skrillex and DJ Excision? <laughs> <laughs> love those guys, DJ Gorillas. I love those guys. Man. <laughs> I don't really know if those are all like DJs though. You know what I'm saying? That they're, they're artists, but I don't know if they're like DJ DJs. You know what I'm saying? Because I see you. I, I envision you playing a lot of like weddings. You know, you know what DJ is a disc jockey, right? Yeah, I, he, yeah, he no, plays I, no, no, other people's music. No, I get that. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Not only do they do that, but they also mix music together. I'm a music producer. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess you could. I guess you could call Skrillex a DJ. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense to call him that. I'm just gonna start calling myself Dre. But with a J at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> the silent and you day. can't fucking stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dre. What's up? <laughs> what about Mushroom Head? You guys mushroom. like that one? <laughs> <laughs> I think it could work. You know, I, I don't think. I, not only is there a band named Mushroom Head, but I think there's also a porn star named Mushroom okay. Head as well. I'll be getting two lawsuits. What about Mushroom Rock, like mushroom from Final rock? Fantasy Ten. Mushroom, dr- mushroom, drawing the Rock Johnson. My my brain's just trying to fucking make connections right now. Dwayne, yeah, it's just Mushroom Rock Johnson. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's firing. <laughs> Dwayne the Mushroom Rock Johnson. Okay, um, Light Speed. What but about- you spell it L T E S P D. <laughs> Light sped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the light sped. He's here. He Miller, is him. Miller light speed. You say something, I'll just add one word to it. <laughs> I like Miller light speed. <laughs> Miller light speed sounds pretty cool. Bush light speed. <laughs> no, dude, we don't do bush no, light. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was like, uh, no, fuck that. <laughs> unless you go bush. Marlboro light speed. I don't know. Camel light speed. <laughs> no, it's not working for that. No, no. 
Michelob light speed. Mm. Hit those off brand cigarettes Diet like Coke the- speed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name, dude. What about his what, stacker three, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, stacker three. The next level. <laughs> uh, I do like stacker three, dude. That's a pretty cool name. <laughs> Uh, is there a stacker three? Yeah, I think it's those yeah. stack cups, dude. <laughs> or is it huh. just because I've heard of stacker two? Yeah, stacker two. The uh, what? Like, aren't they like yeah. trucker energy pills? I don't know if they're called. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Let's I know. I think they're called at least stackers. You know, I th- I think I've seen just basic stackers. <laughs> Man, I looked up clothing grades to see if you can get your t-shirt graded. And dude, it just brought up so many different like clothing fabric grades, like uh, grades of fabric. Quality of pr- yeah. fabric, yeah. I'm like, I don't even know how to search for this. <laughs> I typed in, can I get my old shirt quality graded? Nothing. Mm. Hmm. So what'd you find? Did you find Stacker 2 or Stacker 3? I found pictures of Stacker 2. <laughs> Stacker two, that's it. Uh, Let's see. No st- <laughs> Where's Aww. the stacker one? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Stackers one through two were a complete failure. <laughs> stacker three. <laughs> Light speed. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Stacker three's a thing, guys. Mm. Really, what does it look like? They go from blue and yellow to gray and purple. As far as the pill... Wow. They is, is okay now. Stacker here's the four. question: Is there stacker a stacker four? four? Yeah. Where to find out? <laughs> Fuck! Stacker four, fat burner. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it! You know what? The next thing you gotta look up: stacker, stacker five. Stacker bro. five. <laughs> St- stacker where, where five. Oh, f- oh, we hold might on. Hold on. on. We might just go to eight. How about you change the T to an N? It looks like there's no stacker five. <laughs> <laughs> Stacker fucked up and did five. No five? There's no five. You, you type in stacker five to Google, you just get surfboard stackers, five ounce silver round stackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now this is the choice, Jackson. Do you go stacker five or snacker? And do you want to add, you you add, 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 add numbers, dude? No number? You can add numbers if you need to. Do you, what, what number was snacker? Snacker eight? What if I went with dapper stacker? Da- the dapper stacker. Dapper snacker. Dude. I don't know. Uh, How about cracker snacker? Here, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just scrolling through. I'm just scrolling DJ through cracker here. snacker. <laughs> my saltines at. Club crackers. <coughs> That's uh, fucked up. Dude. <laughs> hold on. I'm going to see. His thing is, huh. like, in between songs, he just throws crackers like throwing stars. <laughs> just getting lost. the jug. Yeah. Yeah. Packs of Ritz just... <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. This is giving me an idea. I want to pull up Band Name Generator. Okay, let's, let's, let's start. Let's start rating whatever right. the fuck comes up. Hold on. Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> Why the... F- what should we put in these suggestions, Kyle? We got so many suggestions right here. Stacker snacker. Someone give me a sing- give me a noun. Any noun. A singular noun. Someone give me one singular noun. Ball. Ball? Oh, it's happening. Okay. You could have said cracker. <laughs> Joystick. Okay. That's not a good band name at all. Why are we doing that? I don't know. I'm trying to do something for the podcast, Kyle, for content. It's not good content. <laughs> I'm just trying to spruce it up a bit. It's not good content. Uh, yeah. Um. Hmm. Stacker six. <laughs> <laughs> Stacker six is available, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to DJ. What? What the fuck? What are we? Uh... That's a good name, <laughs> DJ, DJ. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, DJ. What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I like that. 
So, Jackson, a couple weeks ago, you were talking a big game, dude. A, a big game? Yeah, you were talking some mad shit. You guys remember this? Yeah. I might have been. Oh, yeah. well, the podcast wasn't here. About how <laughs> yeah. you could match names. Oh, movies. Lincoln celebrity. Yeah, Lincoln uh, movie stars and yeah. TV stars up through through like, time. Yeah, through movies that they've been in. Yeah, yeah, and you were you were talking some mad shit, dude. Yeah, Man. yeah, it's because I'm I have a no fail rate. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So linking them up through movies. Yes. Okay. Like if you want it, like basically, how, like, you would link them through, say like it? this, per, like the Bacon's Law, but. Link him through this uh, actor. I give you an actor. You link this actor to this movie. Yeah, and you this have movie to has an actor like in this. Other and then actors they've in been in movies with, so you create a <clears throat> chain. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah. there. Yeah. 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 You can't stop me. Okay. If you think you can, fucking bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Just you can't, bring it. You can't stop him. Your candy ass. <laughs> <laughs> candy ass. <laughs> candy <Walk> ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody got one for him? You got one? Ugh. All right. You got one. Let me see this. It helps if I actually know who the actor okay. or actress is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, I want you to match Mia uh, Jovovich, who is from All Resident right. Evil. Mia Jovovich. Okay. Okay. I need you to match her with Paul Michael Levesque, which is Triple H from wrestling. Paul Michael Levesque? Mm-hmm. Fuck. I wish I would have watched The Chaperone now. <laughs> Um, Triple H was in uh, one of the Bit Blades movies, right? Yes. Uh, Blade Three. Which one's that? Trinity. That is Blade Trinity. Trinity. Yep. Trinity. All right. He's in that one. Yep. I'm just making sure I got the right one. Yep. All right. Are, are we sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. I've looked it up already. Okay. All right. He is in Blade Trinity. Two thousand. He's in Blade Trinity <clears throat> with Ryan Reynolds, mm-hmm. who was in motherfucking give me like. It's not rapid fire. Don't like just like look at me like hey, he's stumbling. <clears throat> Ryan Reynolds, who was in. <laughs> Why are you pointing to your Mountain Dew, bro? Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what clue is that? <laughs> he was in Mountain <laughs> Dew. <Dude. laughs> All right. Ryan Reynolds, who was in that, uh, man, what's the name of that movie that he did with uh, Will Ferrell? It's that Christmas movie. It's the new one that he did. Spirited. Spirited. It was in Spirited with Will Ferrell, who was also in uh, Anchorman, Mm -hmm. who was uh, Anchorman with Ben Stiller, who was also, ah, man, who was I getting to again? Tell me who. Uh, Mia Jovovich. Mia Jovovich. Ben Stiller, who was in Zoolander with Mia Jovovich. Got it. There you go. Well, a quicker one instead of going that far is Mia Jovovich is also in Days and Confused. Mm. Parker Posey's in Days and uh, Parker Posey's in Days and Confused, and Parker Posey's in Blade Trinity. Mm. Who's Parker Posey? Parker Posey played. Uh, <sighs> I forgot what he played. He, he was one of the bad guys on there. They played rings around him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a Google search of my own. Good job, Jack. You did it. Yeah. He's All right, thinking fucking get me, Kyle. Parker. I got another one for you. All right, Parker Posey was. That's oh, a woman. Oh yes, it's a woman. It's Parker Posey was. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm seeing pictures of her now. Cool. Yeah. Uh. All right, I got one for you. Bring it. I didn't like <laughs> do any like research to see if I could stump you or anything. I just put out two names just to see if you could get there. Eddie Murphy and Jeff Bridges. I'm just trying to think who I want to start with. I was trying to stump him. You were? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. It's hard to stump me. Like, I, I can get it. I can always get to it. Yeah, with yeah, like yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Throwing, oh, throwing, down, a, <laughs> throwing down a time limit, that would probably fucking make me nervous. Uh, okay, that's the next step of doing this then. Is <laughs> no. Next time. Giving him a 60 <laughs> second timer. Oh. Get there. And write it down. All right. Uh, name him again one more time. Eddie Murphy to Jeff Bridges. Eddie Murphy to Jeff Bridges. Okay. Eddie Murphy was an I Spy with Owen Wilson, who was also in Wedding Crashers with Vince Vaughn, who was also in The Watch with Ben Stiller. Ben's, you always got to get to Ben Stiller. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I was, 
I, I started with Eddie Murphy. I was getting to who? Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Yeah, I, I can make the connection back from Ben Stiller to uh, okay. Will Ferrell to that spirited movie with Ryan Reynolds. That's crazy. There's a yeah, like it's, it's, there's a website for it. Man, <clears throat> and Ryan Reynolds was in that R.I.P.D. with Jeff Bridges. Good job, bro. Yeah. Good job, bro. There's a website called uh, the Oracle of Bacon. Oh, nice. And it's uh, so Jeff Bridges is also in Kingsman. That's Hale, right. Ha- and then with Halle Berry, Halle Berry is in Boomerang, and then Ed Murphy is also in Boomerang. Yeah, there's certain actors that as long as you can get to certain actors, then you can really like. Yeah, it's it's yeah, everybody it's like, can be. If you can get together, to Samuel L. Jackson, then you got a shit ton of movies. <laughs> He's from. in everything. That's why I didn't use Samuel Jackson. I, yeah, you can yeah. several times. I was like Samuel Jackson and no. Mm-mm. Samuel Jackson's in too many damn movies. Well, you got to think of movies that like Samuel L. Jackson isn't even in. <laughs> then you got to be like, man, you, you cannot you get you Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, I got one. Also, not trying to stump you, just two names. Uh, okay. Nick Cage and Kristen Bell, Dak Shepard's wife. Nick Cage and Kristen Bell. Yeah. All right. Nicholas Cage was in Lord of War with Jared, Jared Leto, Leto, who was also. In uh, I'm trying to think of fucking Jared Leto movies all of a sudden. I'm trying to think of Jared Leto movies. Um. I know, uh, don't, don't help. Nope. I'm not know. helping you. I just want to show. I just want to show Connor. Okay. That was right. that was interesting to see. <laughs> I'm so curious to see what you saw. This is a picture of my cat. (laughs) Didn't expect to see that. (laughs) Are they in the same movie at some point? (laughs) You could say say they're in the same movie. They're in, yeah. Hold on. Kristen Bell and who? Huh? Nick Cage, yeah. Nick Cage and Kristen Bell. I was like, I was like, wait, oh. wait, you type, wait, you had Christian in, Bale. That's what you said, right? Kristen Bale. Oh, Kristen Bale. Okay, yeah, wrong one. I said like, Christian what Bale. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. You played Christian Bale? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. I was going to say, yeah. I did, I did specify Dak Shepard's wife. Kristen Bell, B E L L. Yeah. Okay. Kristen Bell with a K. Come on, Jack, get us there. I think I'm going to start with Kristen Bell go. now. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Same thing. I'm switching. <laughs> <laughs> that's another, yeah, it's like, oh, it's a different movie. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to just think of the movie right now. Oh, you won't think of this movie. You'll think, think of the hard way. I don't think you've seen it. Ah, uh, man, is it Leaving Las Vegas? No. No? Okay. I was just going to throw that out, I guess. But, okay. Kristen Bell. Yes. She was in my fucking... What's the name of that movie? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Okay, She was yeah. in Forgetting Sarah Marshall mm-hmm. with... Uh, damn, what's it? The main guy. Jason I, Siegel? Jason Se- Yeah, Jason Siegel. Jason Segal? I always <laughs> want to say that, dude. I always want to say it. Yeah. Oh, well, I wouldn't really count the movie that it was in. Not that. Not that. You're the other thing. Jason Siegel. Who was in... Knocked up with Seth Rogen. I'm fine. I'm gonna find the connection here. I'm gonna find it. Mm. I took animation out of it and the little thing, and it's different now. Come on, Jack. Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm, I'm pulling okay. it together. Yeah. I'm pulling it together. <clears throat> who was? Who am I on? I forgot. You're still on Kristen. See, I'm, Bell. I keep wrecking my brain, and I keep forgetting exactly where I'm at. You're on Kristen Bell. And Nick Cage. No, I went from Kristen Bell. Now I'm, I'm at Seth Rogen knocked up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Knocked up also, knocked up also has Paul Rudd. And uh, Paul Rudd is in... Fuck. I'm I'm trying to hold on. Just get ah. It's the brain yeah. pains, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I could have went. Jay- I could have went. Jason Segal to Paul Rudd immediately. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, you, can, you can switch it up. I mean, you can always chart a new path. I mean, there's no... Or you can just accept defeat. I'm not going to accept defeat. Well... That's, that's not how this works. All right, we're going to give you a 10-second clock. A 10-second clock? Oh, no. <laughs> a 10-second? No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. That's not All helping. Right. That's not helping. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nicholas Cage. I'm going to start with Nicholas Cage. Okay. All right, Nicholas Cage in Gone in 60 Seconds. Was also <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage gone in sixty seconds. Um, he was also in that movie with Angelina Jolie, who was also Mister Mrs. Smith with Brad Pitt, who was in <laughs> who he was also in Deadpool for a very tiny split time with Spirited Way actor <laughs> Ryan Reynolds and. Fucking Ryan Reynolds was also in that movie with this guy and this guy, and they get Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell, obviously. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're in the movie together, right? Okay, fuck it. I quit. I'm just, I'm just quitting. <laughs> okay. I'm just quitting because I'm tired of wrecking my brain. Okay. All right. You Fair enough. Fail? You admit failure on that one? I'll, I'll go ahead and admit failure because I'm tired of... Well, we got him, boys. I, I, I could have I spent more time, but... We got you, get, you guys want to spend the rest of this episode doing it? I think you would have got it. You would have got mean, it. I yeah. would have gotten it eventually. But but. An easy one. Kristen Bell, it, Kristen Bell is in How to Be a Latin Lover. Then in with Ben Schwartz. And Ben Schwartz is in Reinfeld. And that's Nicolas Cage, main actor. Dude. Yeah. I've never seen those <laughs> movies. So. And then, yeah. it, the original one was Astro Boy, but it took animation out. Because you it's hard it's hard it's a lot harder if you just go off voice actors. Right. Than exactly. Actors in there, so Astro Boy, they're in the same movie. If you would have just said Frozen or Frozen 2, I mean, I'm sure they're connected somehow, yeah. somewhere in there. That and Spider-Man, they're both animated movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have used, I was thinking in my head, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. There's yeah. so many characters in that movie. There's so many. Yeah. Also, Nick Cage is in the uh, the new Flash, too. As a, he's like one of the Supermans. Right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the yeah. fuck, dude? Ezra Miller and yeah. Yeah. Like, they're all uh, like, dude, in my head, like, I made the connection, like, in the middle. You know, like, I finally, like, filled that gap, but I forgot, like, the end pieces. You <laughs> <laughs> had a phone, you could have just typed it out. Oh, this. And then yeah, this one? Oh, and this. Because <laughs> at one point I was talking about uh, Paul Rudd. Herbert. No, never mind. Fuck it. Never mind. Yep, he's doing it again. I, <laughs> he's, he's on one. I somehow like made the. I ended up like connecting him through like uh, the Marvel Cinemat- Cinematic Universe and by connecting that to the Mad Max universe and with Charlie Theron. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> it's fucking. It's, it's, it's sound. When you try to like just spew it all out, it's like oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great. You're like Loki holding the MCU together at this point. You probably didn't watch season two, but nope, hey. He doesn't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> well, um, so I had an idea, man. There's that new trailer that came out called P- uh, Piece by Piece. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen the trailer for it? That Lego movie? Yes. It's like Pharrell's biopic, but I had an idea. Like, what, what movie would, or what biopic or real life event would you guys like to see made in Lego form? Dude, what kept coming to my brain instantly was Civil War. I was like, like I, there's something like that. I, said, I thought that. I was like, 9-11. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that's why I told my buddy. He's like, he's like, dude, what, what would be a good one? He's like, you know, I would just be funny and say 9-11. I was like, okay. <laughs> but I think like, one of the world wars would be like weird or something like that. It'd be crazy. Yeah. It would just be a crazy freaking Lego movie. Like I don't know. It'd be a lot of death, man. It would be. It would uh, be. But like the Lego stuff, when they die, there's in pieces. And they're still alive though. That's like it's more of like a funny kind of mm-hmm. break away from monotony of being s- sad, war, death, and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind seeing like uh, behind the scenes of like. Um, or not behind the scenes, but like a biopic of Elvis, maybe done with Lego. <laughs> that be could be interesting. Yeah, uh, especially when he does like the, the the all those different movies he does because he did like some like fifty movies mm-hmm. or something like that in the just a short little period of time. Yeah. My grandma has all of them. It's fucking crazy. They're at her house. They're all fucking under her. Old, her she has an Elvis shrine room. It's crazy. 
A lot of people in this world have like an Elvis shrine. It's fucking nuts, man. He's so popular still. It's like crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I could go for a uh, Lego version of the Last Dance Michael Jordan documentary. I think there's a lot of scenes in there that would be pretty funny, like them doing the whole like coin toss towards the <laughs> wall. <laughs> Just re- <laughs> remake the whole documentary, but with the Lego. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I think there's a lot of potential <laughs> with that one. Like, if you're comedy. a fan of the documentary, watch the Lego one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that would be fuck. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because it's already a great documentary. That would just make it even better. You know. Yeah. I was also thinking like if because I like I was like I was thinking like the Batman movie and stuff like that too. I was like, man, like the Batman Lego movie is hilarious. Like it was great. Like I loved that movie. And then. Uh, Doing that, like maybe another superhero, like ma- like a Marvel or something like that, do like Deadpool or do something like it, that's just like they are innately funny, just and make it just off the wall. There was that brief <laughs> scene of Lego Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, something could, like that, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, I would probably go with, um, ah man, see. I, at first, I wanted to, like, pick, like, a wrestler and then do a biopic on him, you know? Ooh, yeah. Like, Ric Flair would be a good one. Macho Man Randy Savage. Like, <laughs> Mach- Macho Man would be fucking great. <laughs> He's got the voice for a cartoon character. Yeah, right? He does. It's like, Cream of the Crop Brother. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do the whole bone saw scene in Lego. Bone saw, ready. <laughs> I love that. I 100%, I 100% pick the Macho Man right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Macho Man biopic. Macho Man's great. Another. Or a Clinton, Bill Clinton biopic. <laughs> Saxophone. He's got, a, he's got a lot of interesting stuff about him that would be, ooh, that'd be good. You just have to make it for adults, you know, you can't make it a kid's movie. Yeah, just, maybe make that one rated R. Get a uh, Matt Stone and Trey Parker to do <laughs> Lego that one. movies, yes. dude. There's some dude, a president's it. movie in Lego. Lego. Yeah, dude. Just all the presidents in there. It doesn't have to necessarily be about like their life events. Just have all of them in there and be like, like they all come through portals <laughs> into the White House. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, yeah, 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 man. <clears throat> this How whole president it? election going, uh, president debates going on, man. You got to have that president mentality. You know what I'm saying? How Andrew Jackson just tries to fight everybody and duel him. <laughs> That'd be sweet. How is that not a movie yet? Someone having to like recruit all the presidents and I don't fucking know. It's, it's, a, it's a wild premise for all. <laughs> Do and defend the country somehow, dude. Like people don't make movies like they used to. Like I was, I was talking about that today. I was like, people just don't like movies that were just so good that could not be made now. You know, like there's tons of movies that cannot like. If it was trying to be made now, they would just sh- shut it down. So many movies. Willy Wonka. Yeah. <clears throat> like a movie like Gremlins, stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. You just movies, don't, you you don't do see it. those kind of movies anymore. You know, just stuff mm-hmm. that's out, out of the box, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it's either too offensive, too racist. I would like to see the um, Genghis Khan's uh, whole entire taking over of... Asia or whatever, but told from his point of view, and uh, it's maybe he, showing why he's on the uh, on the journey to cleanse or whatever, <laughs> whatever he's trying to do. Maybe it's uh, from his point of view, it's a good thing, you know. And he's, you know, could be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, could be interesting. It's bad dude right there, man. <clears throat> bad yeah. dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, if we're going to go off of biopic and stuff, but kind of still kind of in the area, um, Forrest Gump, I think that'd be a, a good Lego. Oh, um, heck yeah, man. You know, there's a lot going on there. So Dude, give us fun. a Forrest Gump 2 in Lego. <laughs> it's just in two. It's, like, it's, it's the same. Yeah. Well, let's make him like Benjamin Button to where he starts reverse aging. So that way it's like, it's kind of sad again, you know. And then, like, when he gets young, his legs get fucked up again. He's got to put the leg things back on. <laughs> that's that's rough, dude. Walk, Forrest, walk. <laughs> <laughs> Stop running. Your legs are fucked up. <laughs> they put him in another wartime battle, but it's in Iraq. 
Crawl for his crawl. <laughs> 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 they're, gonna, they're gonna, they're definitely gonna just milk that out. They're yeah. gonna put twenty different versions of that. It's gonna be like the new shrimp, Bubba shrimp thing, where he's like shrimp stew, shrimp salad. They're just gonna keep doing versions of that. Mm. Yeah, swim for swim. This <laughs> sport he takes up is swimming. Oh yeah, because his body can't support itself yeah. anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> I swam about 100 feet away from the beach, and I was like, well, I guess I'll just keep going. (laughs) (laughs) I swam from Mississippi all the way to the Florida Keys. (laughs) (laughs) Once I got there, I thought I'd just keep on swimming. (laughs) I swam to Cuba. (laughs) I swam to Brazil. (laughs) It kind of just writes itself. Yeah, man, Mm -hmm. that that sounds pretty dope. We should be getting on this. Robert Zemeckis, hit us up. <laughs> Contract us. <laughs> it's a good idea. This is the best idea, Kyle. You want to go ahead and move into Yodu? Check this out. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yodu. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yodu. Oh. Yo, dude, check this out. Did you guys see that sinkhole that opened up at that, uh, like, kid's playground in Illinois? Yeah. Dude, that shit was crazy, dude. Just one big, giant sinkhole. Yeah. The fuck? The, I, you know, the, the, you know, photo is like an aerial photo, but there's also a video of it happening, and there's like this, you know, light pole, like a standard light pole with like the four lights or whatever. Uh-huh. And like, it's like just in the middle, and then you just see it disappear in this giant sinkhole, dude. What the fuck? It's like, thank God there wasn't any kids out there because it would have easily killed a lot of kids if... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. <clears throat> Apparently a mine shaft below had collapsed or something. Yeah, they need to go through like places they knew they mined in, stuff like that, just to go and like reinforce that so it doesn't yeah. like collapse sinkhole. Like, I'm going to put up. a kid's park there. And yeah, like they should definitely like look into that a little more because that's dangerous. It looked like Dark Knight Rises, dude. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but they had turf, so like the t- the uh, the turf like sheets were like kind of like laying down in the hole, you know. But yeah, it was, it was a pretty freaking deep hole, man. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I check it out. It's an interesting watch. <clears throat> wow, yo, dude, check this out. I don't know if you guys saw, but Popular Mechanics had an article about uh, they engineers have discovered a new way to make concrete 17 times stronger than than the normal cement hmm. and they've analyzed like um, these type of saltwater bivalve mollusk shells and have like checked to see the way that their shells like microscopic level like how they're put together and they've done the same thing with their new concrete mix that they're doing and <clears throat> supposedly like should make stuff last for like ever, you know, for a long, long time. It'd be a lot but, harder to break in the elements <clears throat> and stuff. Yeah. 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 But it's not ready for like, yeah, you know, it's not ready to be like released to all these, you know, to release to like the public, but yeah, you know, all the, all the like special forms they have to go through and mm-hmm. testing and make other sure it's stuff. safe. Yep. MDA and all that sort of bullshit. Yep. That's interesting. Yeah, pretty cool, man. <clears throat> Just combine that with 3D printing houses and we'll be making crazy shit in no time. Yep. On pretty, Mars. <clears throat> pretty wild, man. Yeah. Uh, one second. I'm trying to, I got I'm one d- I'm trying to do looking. a fact check. Well, yo, dude, so. check this out. Um, So you guys hear about that tornado that happened in Greenfield, Iowa? No. They went through Greenfield, Iowa, um, the 26th of May, when we had all those bad tornadoes and stuff, um, or 24th or 26th, and it killed about five people, but 35 people were injured. But okay, yeah. the Doppler checked the tornado speed, and this, it has the record-breaking speed of the fastest tornado they had. It has, uh, the winds were about 318 to 330 miles an hour. Holy Ooh. crap. So, Matt, like, Matt, and, like, they only label it as an F3 tornado because of the damage they go off damage rates and stuff so 
imagine that going through a town like ours or Springfield or some like Kansas City. It would have oh, yeah. taken it because they like it was just lifting houses completely up off the off the foundations. Oh yeah, it doesn't even tear apart; just lifts them up and just takes them. So oh. <clears throat> it, was, it was it looked crazy, but I was watch I was watching a thing on it and. It was it was rather large. It traveled for about forty four miles, but wow. majority of stuff in Iowa is like all farmland, so that's that's good. Not a lot of people were Some injured. I mean, a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot of people were, were injured, but to like, thankfully, nothing was like in a city, like a big big city. Mm. So <clears throat> crazy. All right, yo, dude, check this out. Uh, right after the attack on Pearl Harbor happened. Uh, Prime Minister Winston Churchill uh, went and grabbed like his favorite whiskey, like from the cabinet, and poured himself a glass. And he was like, "We just won the war." He's like, "That right there, they just they just completely fucked up." And yeah, and the person that attacked Pearl Harbor basically like did it on their own accord and without the Japanese government, like. Support. <clears throat> oh, really? So, yeah. So it wasn't actually planned by their government. Yeah. You, you, that dude was Andrew Jackson in it. He was like, we'll take Florida, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, if you're already in war mode and you're like, hey, <clears throat> there's all these ships right here, let's just go blow them up, you know? Yeah. Probably what he's thinking. But we weren't even in the war until they did that. Yeah. So once right. they did that, we're like, well, yeah. I guess we gotta fuck you up now. <laughs> like seriously, yeah. like, yeah. like we're kind of standing back till something happens, and yeah. like, well, no, something to happen, so now we're gonna kill you. Two mm-hmm. nuclear bombs later, they've been drawn to the kitty ever since. <laughs> you learned your lesson, I guess. <laughs> hey, look, Japanese, they fucked up. But yeah. They're still good people. Yeah, no, I mean, like, definitely, chi- times have one hundred percent changed because people, you know, obviously, like racism and stuff like that has died down a lot because I mean it still happens in certain areas of the countries but mm-hmm. hey listen they got their one two punch now it's time to pick them up and have a shot with them mm-hmm. yeah. That's, and dance I don't necessarily, away. I don't necessarily think away. that Sucky. like they needed to <laughs> let's say they didn't need to nuke them I mean, they didn't need to do that. Honestly, we could just, right. we could just do some aerial raids and stuff like that. And been good, yeah. but <laughs> the nuking is ridiculous. But actually. if you if you really look at the <clears throat> history of World War II, out of all the countries, like even Germany, Japan probably deserved it the most. Bro. Oh, <laughs> the most yeah, war crimes. Of, yeah. The, yeah. Oh yeah, no. They had the most fucked up war crimes out of all of them. Well, it's, it's like the generation like they killed more than uh, the Germans did. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also like the way the like your armies ran and ge- generations of things like how people are raised and stuff too. Cause like they were like brought up through war as like, if you do not kill these people or do this certain thing, you're a disgrace. And then they'd have to kill themselves. So they would, they would do go above and beyond to do the things they needed to do oh, yeah. or go further because if they didn't do it, they're a disgrace. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's a huge thing yeah. for Dude, like, Japan, rate. Japan, it's like mentality. The like suicide everything. rate in Japan, whenever like World War Two like was ended, like whenever they uh, <laughs> surrendered, like it was insane, man. Because mm-hmm. people couldn't believe it. They were like, they thought their president or their leader, whoever the I forget his, the leader's name, I'm forgetting, but they thought he was pretty much a god. So whenever he said like I have surrendered, they thought like uh, that's not true. The U.S. has actually taken over the government now, and they're the ones saying that we just should just off ourselves. Yeah, yeah. And the smart ones were like, hey, "I'll let this play out." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's money to be made. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a really cool kitten design. <laughs> um, man, I think that's gonna be it, guys. Yeah. That's it. It's another episode in the box. The box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the box. Put, put it on the rack. This is the second episode that I said Japan deserved a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The second episode it. I brought it up where I'm like, yo, they deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we know? Ryan, thank you for being here. Yeah, man. It's been too long. Mm-hmm. All it has been. But it's been I'm, months. I have a lot more free time, so. You big ass candy ass. Yeah, big ass candy <laughs> ass, dude. 
<laughs> That's been episode what, Carl? 142. Uh, no. You know what? Forget to like and subscribe. Forget yeah. it. Yeah. Don't do it. No, yeah, this no, is no. a free episode. <laughs> Don't even have to worry about it today. <laughs> Yeah, who gives a damn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, why are you even here? No one likes our shit anyways. No one subscribes to it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> bunch of dislikes and a bunch of people that want us to have our socks out, but we say no. No. <laughs> Forget about Not it. Not unless I want to feel comfortable that time. Mm-hmm. Or until they really start paying me. I can be bought out. <laughs> There'll be less socks if we get money. I'll put, I'll put on like eight Feet pairs picks. of socks for them if that's what they want. If they pay me, man, I'll set up a, I'll set up a PayPal account. Be like, yo, six <laughs> figures a year, man, at least. Feet yeah. picks. I'm your manager, you know. Yeah. I'm just saying, if that's what you want, yeah. daddy gonna get. Taste. I've been thinking of like trying to do some like YouTube side hustles lately, but yeah, then do it. I'm thinking, thinking about it. Get your side hustle on with that MIDI keyboard <laughs> and your socks. Mm. Yeah. I'll pull my socks out, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's get That's out of here. That's been the episode. I'm Kyle. <laughs> That's the episode. I'm Kyle. And that's the name of the episode, boy. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Bye. <laughs> uh, I'm Kyle. <laughs> I'm Kyle. <laughs> Crashing with friends. Oh. Yeah.